past fashion's effect on marine life. What is fast fashion? Fast fashion is a model that was introduced in the 90s by the company Zara. It promotes a quick turnaround time from the point of design to the point in which clothing shows up in stores. Most stores restock every five weeks, creating what is called a sub-season, as opposed to replenishing stock for fall, winter, and spring, summer. Stores get new products almost monthly. It's updated frequently to keep up with what is trendy and to set new trends. The issue with fast fashion is that most of the products are made with synthetic fibers, meaning that they don't last as long, and most clothing ends up in landfills. Also, these synthetic fibers create microplastics, and these microplastics end up in our ocean. The creation of microplastics within the fashion industry. Whenever fabric is washed, it releases fibers, commonly referred to as lint, and gets carried away with the water that drains from the washing machine. Man-made materials, also known as synthetic materials, contain plastic particles within the fibers. These are referred to as microplastics. Microplastics are plastic particles under 5 millimeters long. The washing process carries out plastic particles to our ocean, which is detrimental to marine life, our aquatic ecosystems, and eventually humans. Synthetic fibers are nylon, spandex, acetate, polyester, acrylic, rayon, and viscose. 500,000 tons of microplastics are released into the ocean each year as a result of washing synthetic fibers. Researchers have proposed that a single load of laundry has the potential to release hundreds of thousands of microfibers into the water supply. Why are microplastics bad? Fish ingest microplastics in the ocean, and that moves up the food chain until eventually humans eat fish that have ingested other fish with microplastics in their system. Although they are small, these plastic particles harbor the same effects that macroplastics do, on top of a new set of issues unique to microplastics. These small particles can carry bacteria as well as persistent organic pollutants. They consist of chemicals, pesticides, and dioxins that can be detrimental to humans and animals alike. These pollutants magnify as they go up the food chain, meaning that larger animals, such as humans, are at a higher risk. 35% of the microplastics in our oceans derive from synthetic materials used by the fast fashion industry. Not only are synthetic fibers being thrown out, they're being released into our water sources while we wear it. Other harmful effects on the, of the fashion industry on the environment. It takes approximately 10,000 liters of water to produce one kilogram of cotton. To break it down even further, that's almost 3,000 liters of water for a single cotton shirt. This equates to around 1.5 trillion liters of water used in the manufacturing of clothing each year. The dye used by the industry creates toxic chemicals that wind up in our oceans. Every time an article of clothing is washed, it pulls some of the dye out into the water and that wastewater goes into our oceans. The fashion industry uses up a large portion of our freshwater resources. The use of these dry up water sources, creating irreversible damages to our, body, to our bodies of water and the ecosystems within them. Long-term effects. There has been evidence that microfibers in humans could potentially cause reproductive complications, cancer, and damage to DNA. Microfibers contribute to marine ecosystem degradation. Seven of the 15 pesticides, which is about 46%, commonly used in cotton agriculture have been listed as, listed as human carcinogens. These pesticides can run off from cotton fields and into nearby bodies of water. Not only does this harm marine life, but it also contaminates drinking supplies. Opportunities for change. Purchasing garments made from sustainable fabrics such as lyocell, organically grown cotton, linen, wool, angora, cashmere, which are all wools. Shopping sustainable fashion stores, sewing, upcycling clothing, shopping at thrift stores, buying high quality garments. Takeaways. Plastic particles are released into our ocean through washing synthetic fibers. 
Fish ingest the plastic, which moves up the food chain, and we ingest the fish. The fashion industry uses 1.5 trillion gallons of water per year. Cotton is a large contributor to the pesticide use, which ends up in our water. Microplastics harbor pollutants such as pesticides and dioxins. These are my references. Thank you for listening to my presentation.